Well, it's no secret that the Front Range gets its fair share of moths every spring, and they love to just fly in your mm -hmm. face, right? In the studio, what, too. Why is mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. This year is no different, as this last week has shown us. KRDO News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains why the Miller moths are here in southern Colorado and what you can do to keep them out of your house. The good news is they're harmless. They won't eat your clothes, they don't bite, they don't sting, and they're even safe if your pet eats them. Moths, they're everywhere. The Miller moth is currently migrating from the eastern plains to the mountains. It's a three week journey, and right now we're smack dab in the middle of that trek. And one history expert says, they're looking stronger than ever. What caused them to have such large numbers this year? And that is probably a combination of environmental situations, the weather, and also the food supply that the um, juvenile form had. So they must have had a really good year. They're nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day. So while we wait for the moths to finish their trip, the question becomes, how do we keep them out of our homes, garages, and even cars? They're very, very attracted to light. So at night, when we're in our houses, we usually have some lights on, and they're finding their way into the little teeny nooks and crannies and getting close to the light. So if you want to keep them away, the best thing you can do is reduce the lights, especially outside, like your porch lights. You can leave those off, and that will discourage them. Leave the door cracked and the light on overnight and see what happens to the Miller moth population in my house. And if they're already inside? One really good thing to do is take a clear bowl with soapy water and put a light on over it, maybe on your sink. And then when you go to bed, turn all the other lights off. They will be attracted to that and they'll get in the soapy water and then they can't fly out. They have a lifespan of only a couple of days. So even if they do get inside, you'll likely be cleaning up dead ones if you wait it out. And these little buggers are only going to be around for a couple more weeks, so hang in there. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.